And we're on the red carpet with Virginia Saputo. She is known as the cheese queen, my kind of gal. I absolutely love cheese. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for having me. How are so, you? So you know what goes with cheese is wine, and apparently you've had a couple of glasses already, right? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no, it's all fun and games. Well, I want to talk to you about um, cheese. What's what's happening? What's trending in cheese right now? You know what? Burrata. What is that? Burrata. It's a mozzarella, and burro is butter in Italian. So it's a round ball, and in the inside, it's very creamy texture, like butter. So on the outside, it's like mozzarella, and in the inside, it's very soft milky, buttery, and it just melts in your mouth. And you'll find that as an appetizer in most restaurants here in the U.S. Well, you know, we talked a little bit um, off camera. You're saying that some of the other hot trends are like goat and sheep cheese? Well, goat cheese also, and sheep's milk too. But I was thinking about it, and it's like burrata right now is a big trend. Sheep, sheep milk and goat cheese, uh, it has been around for a couple of years. It's still in the menu as an appetizer. Um, it is still trending, but uh, yeah, the burrata is the upcoming fad yeah. thing. Okay, so that's like the inside scoop. Okay, so you know, I want to learn a little bit about actually doing a proper cheese tasting. Um, I know that all of us want to serve, you know, cheese to to our guests. How should one actually do that? The trick is there are so many different flavors in cheeses. Right. So what you want to do is you want to go with the mildest cheese first, and then you go to the strongest flavor cheese, like a Parmesan or a blue cheese would always be your last cheese as a sampling when you want to sample a cheese. So what would be considered like a light cheese, like, like the first cheese to start with? Okay, I wouldn't call it light. Oh, okay. The proper terminology would be a mild cheese, okay. and a mild cheese would be an example of a mozzarella, um, a frullano, um, something that's a soft or a, um, uh, not a firm cheese, but it would be a, um, a mild, a mild taste in cheese. And it could be in different textures or something like a chevre or something spreadable of, cre of a cream cheese or some kind. Well, I love to entertain, and however, I'm just, I'm not a wine connoisseur, you know, and I, I just love cheese, but I don't know all the specifics. So what is the easiest way, if you're having guests over and you don't want to look like a, a, a fool, right, you want to be able to serve them properly, um, how can we easily uh, serve wine and cheese pairings together? Great question. Normally, as a wine pairing, you would have a maximum of three or four different cheeses and you would start with a mild cheese so you can start with something a spreadable cream cheese right. um, you could have a boursin or a chevre or anything with that with a herb in it yeah. and then your second cheese would probably be a mild cheddar okay. um, and then your third cheese could be something like a brie or a camembert okay. that has a penicillin candy dumb and it's not that strong and your fourth cheese could be a uh, a parmesan or a blue cheese oh. and so you go from mildest flavor right. to the most um, um, pungent and your wine selection would be the same way so you would start with a white wine with your mild cheeses and then you work with your way to the reds with a more pronounced flavor as your last wine well, thank you so much. Incredible information, and it's so interesting that you you know everything about cheese. So for more information where people can get articles and actually learn how to do all of this, where should they go? Whatcheese.com, and we'll be talking about anything you want to know about cheese. Any question, um, how to preserve cheeses, how to cut cheeses, how to serve cheeses, um, any, any question you, you have. European cheeses, French cheeses, <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Such a pleasure to talk to you. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs>